Hi, I'm Erin from Cottage Designs by Erin, and today I'm going to teach you how to make Christmas ornaments out of your leftover homespun fabric. So all you're going to need is a scrap of homespun, paper, batting, and some trim such as ribbon and a jingle bell or twine and a jingle bell and a piece of wire. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a heart template. I did not have a template for this, so I just drew it like you did old school in, in grade school. Fold a piece of paper in half. You're going to make a long, skinny heart, an elongated one, not a fat, chubby one, because this looks more primitive. Okay, then you're going to take your pattern piece and you're going to lay it down on a piece of homespun and on a piece of batting, and you're going to cut it out. That will give you this. Next, you're going to layer the batting on bottom, which I'm using Mormon Natural Batting. Put your two heart pieces of homespun on top, pin it together, and we're going to sew around it. Let me get my pin. Okay, I have my sewing machine set to a straight stitch. Standard length on my machine is a two and a half inch on top and three and a half inch on bottom. So let me go ahead and and show you this. You're going to start at the point and you're going to sew all the way around the heart. Quarter inch seam. Turn it gently when you get to the top. Doesn't have to be perfect because since it's primitive, sometimes if they're a little wonky, they actually turn out much cuter. Stop when you get to the point and turn the heart and go on around. When you get to the V, back stitch. All right, we're done with that. Make sure you flip it over. Make sure you didn't miss any, any stitches. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess here. All right, so we have our cute little heart stitched like so. I am now going to take my scissors and I'm going to make an incision pardon me, right down the center of the heart. Here's the important part. When you make this incision, you do not want to cut through both layers of the homespun, just through one. So kind of pull it gently, as, gently away from the other layers because you don't want to poke a hole through the whole thing or you will ruin it. Hopefully you can feel the difference. I usually can. All right, once you get the little bitty tiny snippet in it, the little hole, you can feel the difference. Pull away the other layers and go ahead and make a nice incision in the heart. And it's going to be fairly large because you're going to flip the heart inside out through this. Okay, so here's our little incision. Pretend you're making a buttonhole. And you're going to make it really large so that you can easily flip this thing. All right, so now we're going to flip it inside out. You can use a, a tool such as a pencil, the end of a wooden spoon to flip it if you need to, to, to point, uh, to make the, um, make the seams more solid here. Okay, so when we flip it inside out, use your finger to go around the shape to make sure you have as much flipped inside out as you can. Like you're making a little mini pillow. Always touch the little point at the bottom so this kind of is a point. This is our finished design. So now what you're going to do is you're going to suture the back up using an overcast stitch. 
just take some thread out of your machine like so double it oh I left the needle All right, and then you're going to sit, stitch it up. This is a very, very quick project using only scraps. They make great gifts if you give them in a set of maybe three to six. They make really nice little gifts. And you can also sell these if you have an online store. All right, so on the back, I'm going to make one stitch from side to side, pull it through, and I'm going to go through the loop of my thread so that I catch it. Now, we're just gonna overcast stitch this very crudely. It does not matter because it's on the back. It doesn't even matter if it looks all Frankenstein, okay? You're just going to simply suture it up just so that you can't see the batting. It's going to be a little rough, and that's all right. Keep going till you get to the very end. When you do get to the very end, again, pull it through the loop of the thread so that you catch your last stitch. Give it a good firm tuck. And now the heart is ready to decorate. So typically I normally use garden twine for these and I cut a little garden twine bow and I hot glue a jingle bell and then I have a wire hanger. Today I am out of twine so I used ribbon. So this is what the finished product looks like. I've got a little red bow hot glued on with a cute little jingle bell and I have hot glued a wire hanger on the back, which is also crude and it goes over the suture. Okay, so this is the finished product. I hope you learned this cute little project today on Cottage Designs by Erin. Please subscribe to my channel for more ideas in the future. Thank you. Bye.